हे गाइस वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू नर चैनल दैट इज अचीव आई एस सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दैट नर चैनल वी आर कवरिंग द सिलेबस ऑफ यू पी एस सिविल सर्विस एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज वी हैव स्टार्टेड मल्टीपल सीरीज ऑन आर चैनल द टारगेट यूर प्रॉब्लम एज वेल एज मेन्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट आर मेन्स आंसर राइटिंग सीरीज सो वट इज दैट सीरीज इन इट इज सीरीज इन विच वी गिव यू डेली फाइव क्वेश्चन विच यू हैव टू राइट so uh, students were uh, demanding that uh, uh, sir please uh, share with uh, share with us also the model answers of these questions so uh, it, it was decided that uh, we will be uploading daily one answer uh, that could be uh, uh, from which you can take the clue to to improve your answer writing skills before starting let me tell you friends that no answer can be a model answer because students have the habit to say uh, 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 kindly provide model answers so uh, that's why we use this Start terminology. Rather, we say it reference sources. Uh, so basically, why it is not a model answer? Because had that been the case, every student would have scored scored hundred percent marks in UPSC CSE. Uh, uh, but uh, the toppers also score just fifty to fifty five percent of the marks. So that's why we don't refer to our answers as model answers. So you can improve upon that. At no point we we are saying that we uh, we have prepared our first class answer and it can't be it can't be uh, improved. So question. is about your section 124a of the indian penal code so uh, th there is a debate that about section 124a uh, of uh, ipc because uh, uh, it is a uh, provision that uh, that provides a definition of sedition and the consequence uh, uh, consequent uh, punishment if anybody uh, is accused of this offense so uh, here the question is section 124 of the indian penal code is no longer a legitimate and justifiable provision in democratic india do you agree justify so here uh, you have to uh, uh, tell your opinion about uh, the section 124a of the ipc that whether it is uh, legitimate and whether it is justifiable uh, uh, in in the new setup that is the uh, democratic setup uh, different from the colonial setup that we had uh, uh, 70 years back so uh, so the, you have to tell that whether you agree or not so you have to also justify your opinion so what the uh, what the term justify means it, it uh, you have to basically uh, take a stance and then you have to just justify that stance by by giving uh, examples or you can cite uh, uh, for example this is the polity question uh, this is from basically polity and it has some linkage with the uh, internal security as well as well as it it has some linkage with the uh we can say uh, quality as well so here uh, 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 you have to justify uh, by citing appropriate cases and appropriate supreme court judgments that have been given time to time on the sedition uh, clause of ipc so uh, answer is that uh, just simply start by introduction so uh, it is not necessary that you have to follow word to word so basically by introduction you can start that a uh, ruler trend uh, tend to treat uh, transient criticism as attempts to excite disaffection and disloyalty so there is a tendency among the governments that uh, uh, when when a, a person or when a uh, activist or for that matter a, a civil civil society criticizes it it has the tendency to treat that criti criticism as uh, dis uh, disloyalty or disaffection so uh, uh, that is perhaps the only reason that uh, because uh, the uh, section 124a is uh, surviving in the indian penal code so uh, let me let uh, let me inform you that this section was introduced in 1870 so certainly it was it is a colonial provision so it was was not introduced by democratic india so also gandhi ji described it as the prince of indian penal code indian penal code why why he is uh, uh, described this as a prince of ipc because this section was time and again used to express the criticism of for that matter the freedom struggle movement that was going on uh, uh, pre uh, in the pre independent era so what is sedition what which is enacted by uh, section 124 of uh, ipc without knowing the definition it would be difficult for you people to understand the question so here you have to uh, first you have to begin by a small intro or you can also begin by defining section 124a that what it is so it is not uh, uh, now the definition i am providing it is not the true definition because it is the it is the definition as per the privy council of the britain so according to privy council any statement that caused disaffection please note the word disaffection uh, uh, can be uh, or or uh, namely exciting uh, in uh, exciting in other uh, certain bad feelings 
things towards the government so even though there was no element of incitement to uh, violence or rebellion so this is a very broad definition which was uh, kind of uh, put forth by privy council so uh, any statement uh, which uh, which causes disaffection so that means if you are criticizing government if you are not uh, uh, liking the government policy or the government itself then uh, then it it would uh, uh, demand sedition it would invoke sedition charges on you so that is a very broad definition uh, but after when uh, when constitutional constitutional assembly uh, of uh, of uh, india uh, came into existence uh, uh, which, which is which was responsible for drafting the indian constitution so uh, it it held debate upon this clause so there was a debate that whether uh, a restriction should be there on the freedom of speech or expression or uh, uh, on the ground of uh, we can say sedition so there was a heated debate and in fact some advocated that there should be a restriction and then uh, the, uh, there was a person that is km munshi who uh, who opposed the inclusion of sedition as a head of restriction and move moved an amendment for its deten detention uh, its deletion so uh, basically why it was advocated because km munshi said that now we are in a democratic government we are turning to a democratic government and we are not no longer in a colonial government so the uh, our citizens must be treated with dignity and also a line must be drawn with between the criticism of government and incitement to violence so we can say uh, and and tendency to disturb uh, public order so there must be kind of uh, kind of a clear uh, we can say uh, distinction so uh, the, the founding father fathers in fact agreed with munshi and uh, this uh, had that is sedition as the ground of restriction the freedom of speech and expression was uh, was removed so article 19 uh, in in article 19 there was there is no such uh, clause that uh, restricts uh, your freedom of expression on the charges of sedition so but though it was not included in the constitutional provision of fundamental rights but it 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 continued to exist in indian penal code which provides for the sentence for life imprisonment and fine upon conviction so if you are convicted then you will be imprisoned for life uh, three years or for that matter if the uh, if your conviction is if your crime is serious then uh, you will be imprisoned for uh, uh, for life un until your death so that is a clear uh, uh, we can say rigorous punishment we can uh, say so how did uh, the indian courts constitute sedition so already we have uh, we have defined your uh, sedition and we have shed light on the constituent assembly and now comes the court's opinion supreme court's opinion so in a in a landmark judgment that is kadarnath versus state of bihar supreme court held that uh, uh, that uh, that, uh, that the mere criticism of government uh, doesn't mean that uh, 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 th that uh, this is a sedition because the uh, criticism must be allowed in a democratic setup and that criticism uh, can be uh, can be vigorous or pungent or even ill in ill informed to any extent so th that is uh, that uh, that is kind of a we can say liberty of a person or we can uh, if we say that uh, we are giving uh, the, our citizens the freedom of conscience then certainly uh, that freedom of conscience will have no value if uh, we don't uh, uh, give uh, this uh, that particular citizen the, to express his conscience that what he thinks what is right or wrong so mere criticism of government or comments on the administration however vigorous they can be pungent can they can be or even ill informed they can be they did, uh, did uh, they did not constitute sedition so uh, it limited the application of section 124 a to acts involving intention or tendency to create disorder so or disturbance of law and order or incitement to violence so please note this definition this is very important definition because supreme court uh, clearly outlined that when section 124 uh can be invoked uh, so that case be that that can be invoked when there is a kind of we can say act that uh, that involves intention or tendency to create disorder or disturbance in law and order or th uh, that particular we can say act inci incites violence among among people or, or create public disorder so there must be uh, 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 incitement to violence is essential ingredient of sedition so here uh, emphasis added uh, so in 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 fact in indra das versus state of assam and uh, arup bhuyan versus state of assam supreme court held that only speech that amounts to in, uh, incitement to imminent lawless action can be criminalized so here th this must also be noted because supreme court held that mere giving speech for example using in your speech the words like war fight Uh, and a violent overthrow of government so that doesn't mean the person has committed sedition unless there is a imminent imminent lawless action because uh, if for example if i am saying that uh, that we will throw out the indian government then 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 in that case 
if if you are listening to me and it uh, it uh, we can say it, uh, it doesn't appeal to your mind and uh, and you just passed away then what what is what is the what is the uh, we can say you, uh, as per supreme court then what is a big deal because there is a, a not imminent lawless action because it was a kind of uh, we can say stupid slogan so uh, which appealed to nobody so that uh, that thing is uh, that the, that thing the supreme court held in indra das versus state of assam and arub bhuvan versus state of assam that incitement to imminent lawless action so in phase is also imminent lawless action can be criminalized so therefore advocating revolution or uh, we can say violent overthrow of state that as i as i well that uh, it is not uh, uh, as per the supreme court um, it, it doesn't amount to the sedition so also in menka gandhi versus uh, menka gandhi case 1978 uh, supreme court gave a fair judgment in which it uh, it criti- uh, said that criticizing and drawing general opinion against the government policies and decisions with a, within a reasonable limit that does not people incite people to rebel is consistent with freedom of speech so what is the essential ingredient so you might be able to comprehend uh, we can say a little or might be a lot that now the in, there must oh, there must be a clear tendency to incite people to rebel and people must also rebel that amounts to st- uh, sedition and not just criticizing or drawing general opinion against government so the judgment saved the citizens from exe- un- unquestionable actions of executive and in 2003 the nazir in nazir khan versus state of delhi supreme court held that uh, uh, the fundamental right of every citizen to have uh, his, it is a fundamental right uh, that every citizen has politi- uh, uh, can can have any political theory for example if i am uh, holding uh, i have uh, i have a opinion suppose uh, that uh, india must be a theocratic sp- uh, state so suppose just suppose i am not saying that uh, just suppose if i am saying that there is uh, india must be a theocratic state india must be a hindu rashtra uh, so that thing is not in itself uh, a harm uh, and uh, and in fact uh, uh, we uh, Uh, the the citizen can or uh, 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 it involves me also can work for its establishment unless it is not uh, done by force and violence or contravene uh, with any provision of law so here you can note the word contravene any provision of law so you might be knowing that uh, secularism is basic feature of indian constitution so if in fact uh, i am saying hindu rashtra so that in fact doesn't mean that uh, i am committing sedition uh, i can i can propagate my political theory i can hold that theory but uh, but though it contravenes uh, the provision of law so i cannot work for it so that that is that that is the important thing so mere use of word fights and uh, uh, war so as, as i have already told you it doesn't amount to sedition so also slogans uh, uh, slogans which kind of we can say uh, uh, had stated that indian state is tyrannical it is necessary to overthrow, uh, overthrow that could uh, uh, post, uh, that could attract section uh, uh, 124a so uh, it it is often in fact misused by ill ill informed and over enthusiastic prosecuting agencies so when uh, there is so much of uh, we can say you, the question might come in your mind that when so much of clarity is given by the supreme court that, that when to invoke and when not to invoke sedition then why is the debate that we should remove our, uh, section 124a because there is a clear guide, guideline that when is to when 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 to invoke this provision so the problem here is that the the prosecutor executing agency agencies are over enthusiastic and also there is a tendency to misuse this section 124a because people are not much of uh, also not much aware of uh, what constitutes sedition and also uh, when there is an emotional environment then this the, the such type of cases are reported and often it is used misused for 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 quelling the dissent of uh, we can say activists for, or, or for the for the that matter civil society and any any other uh, section of society so in vocation only be in cases of slogans or statements which incite violence and have a manifest tendency to create a uh, public dis- disorder so the, uh, the right remedy here we can say is to educate our law enforcement agencies to impress upon them that uh, incitement to violence is a essential constituent of your section 124a so here uh, i have just short, uh, shortened it into a few words uh, that is you the, the uh, before uh, kind of we can say before uh, 
giving you this uh, uh, these short words i i uh, i focused upon the topic because uh, uh, it was my response it is my responsibility also to clear you uh, that what is the topic so must you must also be uh, clear of the uh, you must uh, also have basic concepts clear so uh, then you can inter, uh, you can uh, uh, start by introducing what is section 124a and then you can uh, move on to case against and case par so case against you can say that uh, that in uh, constituent assembly it was not con it was not included uh, as a uh, as a head for, uh, for, uh, or we can say as a condition for on uh, on the on the freedom of uh, speech and expression and then you can also say that its definition is too wide so disaffection and disloyal loyalty so it, uh, these are broad terms so what what do you mean by disaffection or what do you mean by disloyalty for example if i am not satisfied with the nda2 government then i have the right to criticize that government so what is the big deal in it so but uh, the, if you see that uh, the, uh, the uh, i am disloyal to government so certainly i can be i am not disloyal to my nation because government is not nation or we can say a particular party is not nation nation is a bigger entity or nation state is a bigger entity unless i am uh, i am not uh, i am i am showing my disloyalty to uh we can say nation state then how can i uh, how can be uh, uh can uh, i be seditious so that definition uh, remains too wide so overbroad definitions uh, they 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 have the tendency to be misused so in fact uh, strong policy criticism policy of policies and personalities uh, uh, are likely to be treated as seditious and also there is repeated instances of misuse so for example uh, this uh, section has been invoked multiple times for against activist against detractor writers and also writers and even cartoonists so when when the ruling authority is not tolerant to criticism and also in fact uh, the case against uh, the thing uh, this uh, provision is that uh, in uh, uh, in independence uh, during the uh, during the pre independent days uh, this provision was basically uh, used to suppress the freedom struggle it was used to incarcerate the prominent leaders like mahatma gandhi uh, bal gangadhar tilak jawaharlal nehru and other prominent leader, uh, leaders so that that was the purpose, that was the purpose of Of this section 124a so lok and also lok commission uh, uh, now the case other case against it is that lok commission has been uh, recently uh, uh, asked to revisit this uh, uh, section so it is the th uh, third time in five decades that lok commission has been asked to revisit this section so that means that there is a growing discontent with this section continuing in the ipc and then also there is a pertinent question question that uh, when uh, when this provision was uh, uh, introduced in 1870 clearly the purpose was to suppress freedom struggle and in, uh, the british introduced it and now when we got independence then why what is the purpose of uh, retaining such provision uh, and that gains uh, we can say wait when uh, when uh, when we see that britain itself uh, itself abolished uh, sedition as a charge uh, 10 years ago so core principle incitement to violence or tendency to create public disorder as i have told you that supreme court uh, enunciated a cross prin uh, core principle so these uh, these has this core principle has been often for gotten by the law enforcement agencies so uh, that demands uh, the awareness among the law enforcement agencies and also uh, it, there is big issue that it is punishable by life life imprisonment so it is quite large uh, uh, we can say quite rigorous uh, imprisonment then the also there is a kind of we can say the law encourages self -cens censorship for example the person or a journalist may not uh, uh, go to that extent to which uh, it must criticize government because of the fear of uh, section 124a so also then there is one uh, uh, section 124 is not just limited to high profile urban cases so it has found its way in fact to the far away remote areas also for example there was there is a village in kondankulam uh, uh, tamil nadu which opposed for the installation of nuclear power pro project so it was uh, charged so it, it was basically if uh, if, if the, the, uh, the activists activists were basically criticizing the government policy that uh, the nuclear power project must not be introduced uh, must not be installed here so entire village was slept with this sedition charge in fact in 2014 adivasis of jharkhand that is the uh, tribes of jharkhand resisting uh, displacement due to the power projects or or uh, other uh, other projects uh, they they opposed it and uh, the uh, uh, they were slept with sedition in 2014 
so uh, instead of critically analyzing uh, the government uses this uh, uh, provision as an iron fist policy to ensure that there is no contrarian views uh, to to its its policies so case far is then uh, you can say then also argue for case for example in uh, 1968 so law commission has been recommended to uh, visit this provision three times so uh, a prior uh, Prior, prior to this time in 1968 the law commission had rejected the idea of repealing the section and also in 1971 in fact <coughs> uh, this uh, uh, the, the law commission argued in favor of uh, expansion of this provision that is it must be expanded to cover legislature as well as constitution as well as judiciary so that th there is no disaffection to these institutions so that is the, that is that is also a we can say strange thing that in fact uh, it was asked to uh, uh, expand it so that would have amounted to we can say clear monopoly of the government so other is uh, other thing is that uh, ours is a state facing multiple insurgencies so we have multiple internal security problems for example uh, naxal movement and then, then we have kashmir issue and then we have northeastern issue in which uh, naga uh, 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 there is a uh, uh, nagaland insurgency and then there are, there is a section of society uh, in in, uh, in almost every state of uh, northeast that uh, that is dis, uh, that is kind of we can say uh, in uh, in in, uh, in uh, we can say in constant war in constant war with the uh, indian government so that is also a thing that the sedition must be, must remain there so that is uh, an issue so other thing is that clearly enough only uh, other you can argue is that uh, that incitement to violence or disturbance to public order is a clear clearly laid out principle so uh, the sedition is in the charges are invoked only when uh, should be invoked that only when these uh, these two things are there so when there is then there is so much clarity then why to remove so obviously incitement to violence or disturbance to public order uh, is the thing that must worry government so these are the case uh, for but you have to come out with a balanced judgment so here you can say that our uh, state rests on solid foundation so you can't say that uh, completely remove it it is a, it is a, it, there is no need of it or you can say no no they, it must be there um, and uh, uh, everything you, uh, you might see that you must not be polarized upon uh, Uh, about about your opinion so your conclusion must be that uh if there is misuse of uh, uh, sedition law then it should attract appropriate penalties for law enforcement agencies so that would discourage the law enforcement agencies to misuse this provision so sir obviously that it would remain in the ipc and it would help in dealing the uh, the the we can say the the condition uh, the, the we can say exigencies that emerge from time to time but it will also ensure that there is no misuse so this can be the conclusion so in this way you have to write the answer so you have to uh, give an introduction you have to give a case for and then you have to give case against and then uh, you have to reach to a balanced judgment so in this way you have to write so obviously it is difficult to discuss all the five questions as we but we do we daily give you five questions for answer writing so it is difficult because you might have seen that already this question has consumed 22 minutes so that is a difficult thing if we started uh, discussing every question so what we have uh, done we have just decided to discuss every day one question so if in case you are interested to joining uh, to join our test series then you can contact us at uh, this uh, uh, email id there is chies21 at the at gmail dot com or you can also contact us us at our number this is eight nine six eight nine two zero seven two zero so this is our contact number so this is a mail id if you are interested in writing answers and if you are interested in uh, uh, getting the uh, we can say reference uh, sources in your words the model answers uh, then you can contact us at this mail or at this contact number so this is all about today's video friends if you liked it if you uh, like the question then do ensure that you share it share it with your friends and also ensure that you like to our video and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day